Hello everybody, my name is Travel Ted and I'm a travelling bear. Today I am going to tell you a story about the best Halloween party ever. I'd been waiting ages and it felt like it would never come. But at last, here it was, it was Halloween. I jumped out of bed really excited and shouted to Ben. Come on Ben, wake up, let's get our outfits on. Ben woke up, stretched and smiled a huge grin. On the other side of the room, Annie was just waking up and I could hear everywhere Bear complaining that she was laying on his head. We'd swapped beds the night before and I laughed because for once I wasn't the one getting squashed when Annie rolled over. I had missed Annie though and I didn't really mind that she slept like a little starfish with her arms and legs all over the place. Come on Annie, come on Ben, come on everywhere Bear, I shouted. Let's get ready. Everybody loves Halloween. Ben loves Halloween, Annie loves Halloween, everywhere Bear loves Halloween, and I, well I love Halloween too, and I bet that even you and your friends love Halloween. Today was no ordinary Halloween either, because today Ben and Annie were having a party and everyone was invited, nearly the whole of Ben and Annie's school were coming. We were all excited, we'd been talking about our outfits all week, and Mr. and Mrs. Booker had been very busy adding spiders to Annie's witch's outfit and whiskers to Ben's cat outfit. They had added long spidey legs to everywhere Bear's spider outfit and they even made me an extra special pirate's hat with a scary skull and crossbones on the front. Finally we were ready. Annie made a brilliant witch with her green face and giant green witch's hat. She even had a magic broom Mrs. Booker had bought from the hardware shop. Ben made a very scary monster with his white face paint and a huge bolt through his neck and I laughed when he put his arms out and chased after Annie on her broom. Annie was running around waving her wand and putting spells on him to turn him into a frog but none of them worked. Everywhere there was a creepy spider with big fangs and eight long hairy legs but he had so many legs that when he tried to join in and chase after Ben to save Annie, he fell over them and landed in a huge pile of hairy legs on the floor. Squish! I felt very proud in my pirate's outfit. I looked like a real live pirate with my black trousers and stripy top. I was even wearing a little eye patch and had pulled my arm back inside my sleeve a little so that I could hold the silver hook Mr. Booker had made for me and looked just like Captain Hook from Peter Pan. Walk the plank, walk the plank, walk the plank, I shouted as I marched around. Mr. and Mrs. Booker had decorated the party room with pumpkins we had made by painting paper plates orange. We even had real pumpkins which Mr. Booker had helped us cut scary faces into. There were spiders and bats, and the spiders were hanging from the ceiling in webs that Mrs. Booker and Annie had made from cotton wool. There were skeletons hanging on the back of the door. We bought the skeletons from a party shop though because they were just too hard to make. There was scary food too. Cakes with black, orange and green icing, pumpkin pie and spider bat and pumpkin shaped sweets. There was even a big cake with a picture of a witch's hat on it. Annie and Ben's friends had all dressed up too. There were vampires and bats, witches and cats, monsters and trogs, and ugly green frogs. Everyone was ready for the party. The first game we played was Monster Bumps. Mr. Booker put some music on and we all danced, but when the music stopped, we had to sit down on the floor as quickly as we could, and the last one to sit down was out. After that, we played Pass the Parcel and right at the end under the last piece of paper there was a big packet of spider sweets. Next we were divided into two teams. I was on Annie's team and everywhere Bear was on Ben's team. Mr and Mrs Booker got out two boxes of toilet paper and explained that the first team to wrap one of them up in toilet paper so that they looked like an Egyptian mummy would win. Annie and my team got to wrap up Mrs Booker and we raced around and around covering her in the toilet paper. At the end, Mr. and Mrs. Booker looked very funny and there was toilet paper everywhere, but Mrs. Booker said not to worry, it was fine and didn't matter. She said she would tidy it up later, even though Mr. Booker's team had won. 
Mr. Booker had made a big witch. He'd hung it from the ceiling and we took it in turns to pin an ugly wart on her while wearing a blindfold. Mr. Booker explained that whoever pinned the wart to the witch's nose first would win. Everybody laughed when I pinned the wart to her bottom and when I took the blindfold off and saw where I'd pinned it, I laughed too. In the kitchen there was a huge cooking pot filled with red water. Mrs. Booker said it was blood, but really she had just added red food colouring. Inside the pot there were two apples and we took it in turns to stick our faces in the water to see who could pick up the apple the fastest, without using our hands of course. It bobbed up and down in the water. We tried to bite it, but it was very hard. Still, we had fun, but got very, very wet indeed. Finally, Mr and Mrs Booker said that there was a special game, but it wasn't for anyone who was scared. I'm not scared of anything, I'm a pirate, I said, as I marched forward, waving my hook around. On the floor in the hallway was a large black bucket with a black bag covering it. In top of the bag, there was a split, and on the side of the bucket it read, Monster's Brains. Mr Booker explained that the bucket was full of wet, gooey, sticky monster's brains, but at the bottom there were bags of tasty jelly sweets. He said to get the sweets, we would have to put our hands into the monster's brains. I didn't like the thought of monster's brains very much, but I didn't want to seem like I was scared, and I did rather like the thought of tasty jelly sweets. In fact, I liked the thought of tasty jelly sweets very much. When I put my hand down into the bucket, it was all squelchy and horrible. Oh, oh, oh! I said, there really are monsters' brains in here. Mr and Mrs Brooker laughed as I pulled out a large packet of jellies with bits of pink stringy stuff stuck to them. Some children were too afraid to put their hands in the bucket even after Mr. Booker had said it was okay and the monster's brains were really made out of cold, wet cooked spaghetti. Annie and Ben both took a turn. The party was almost over, and as each one of Annie and Ben's friends left, everywhere Bear and I handed out party bags with Halloween treats inside and a piece of the witch's hat cake. That night we all sat and told scary stories about monsters and witches and scary things while we ate the delicious sweets that we had won. At bedtime, Ben and Annie were very tired. Everywhere Bear was very tired, and I was very tired too. I climbed into bed and thought about how brave I was to put my hands in the monster's brains bucket first. I wasn't scared of anything. And then, when Mr Booker turned out the lights and said goodnight, I went to sleep with one eye open. <laughs>